Now that's a great question. To have automatic income every month, to have automatic customers. One of the things that I've discovered is there are many people now who are looking to instantly create an internet business model. It's true. Internet impacts everything. It, that's very true. What is also true is to develop an internet-based business only takes time. I spent six months working full-time on this YouTube channel before I earned a dime. For most people, that's not plausible. It's just not. But that's what it took for me to get some traction. And what I'm seeing are many people who are falling prey to let's get rich very quickly when where's the value where's the value now one of the things that I started working on and I, I'm gonna get to the reason that I'm doing this in a minute is there's been so many people who have good business models that they are abandoning or trying to shove into an internet model that they're leaving money on the table. One of the reasons that I'm doing the how to sell big reoccurring revenue models is those have been my most successful customers. Now let's go all the way back to 30 days to 2500 with Cleaver. Cleaver said, hey, I have no money. I have no car. I am ass out. How do I make some money in my position? And I said, really quickly, you need to start a service business. And Cleaver, in the matter of six months, went from being in a very bad financial position to owning the house that he was staying in because the, the people who were there, they, they moved and he stayed. So he went from being someone who needed the help of friends to being able to fund that whole house by himself because he created a service business. Now let, let's just get into this. Passive income. Everyone wants passive income. I have passive income. I've had passive income since 2010. Now let me tell you about passive income. It's hard to get and it's harder to maintain. That's why you need a lot of it because it's gonna go up and down. So there are many people under this false notion that they're going to come online, get themselves some passive income, and not have to work. <laughs> Just let that shit go. Uh, what you can do is start building where you are right now with what you have. And for many of you who want to live the internet lifestyle, there needs to be an extra step. And that extra step is for you to start a local service business or become a seller of big ticket items while you develop your internet model. Because there are so many people who feel that they can go from desperate, broke dick Danny, penniless Priscilla state to paid. All because of, you know, I'm gonna go in there and then I'm just gonna, you know, turn a few dials press a few buttons and I'll be paid. I'll be making that money, right? And it's just not gonna work like that. What you can do is what I like to call get your basics covered. Because so many people are trying to live their internet lifestyle and build their internet lifestyle at the same time. Once again, going back to my situation in 2009, I my car was paid off. I, I didn't have any bills. I had a lot of time. That's just not the average person unless you're a teenager. If you're a teenager and living at home with mom and dad, then you can run my template because you can do all of these micro experiments and you're still gonna eat. <laughs> you still got a place to stay thanks to good old mom and dad. You can run that model. You've got the time and that's why so many of these young kids are so successful because they can push really hard on their internet model because the basics are taken care of. 
But if you are a broke dick, Danny, penniless Priscilla over the age of 25, 26, that's not your, that's not your world. This is not how you're living. The expectations is you are an adult and you must take care of yourself. And those expectations are not out of line. They're not. I left home at 18. I never went back. I, I do believe that we're raising a class of people who don't know how to take care of themselves because they don't want to take on responsibility. But you got to have that extra step. Uh, that was wrong. what was wrong with the original 30 days to 2500 because it didn't take into account people who had jobs who wanted to escalate to the next level. So let's get around to automatic customers in the reoccurring business model. What I'm doing with How to Sell Big is teaching people how to set up a sales process. Now, let's use Steven. Steven has a mobile, he has a window washing business. Now, that window washing business, fully accentuated, could support him and his. He spreads it, he gets it, but the thing is, to really give it some juice, we're gonna add the multi-channel business model. Now, this seems a little counterproductive or actually like I'm going against what I said, but it's really really in line with what I put out. It's something that I've done not once, not twice, but several times. You gotta get back to infrastructure, okay? Let's go with Steven. He's got the trucks, he's got, the, he's got some clients, and he's got the will. Now, what we can do with that infrastructure is spin off other businesses that will use the same infrastructure, that will use the same employees, that will use the same equipment to a certain degree and make more money. But we must get the first business down. That's where a lot of people are going kind of crazy. They're trying to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different revenue models before the first one is locked down. 2009 to 2011, Really, 2009, 2012, all I talked about was storage auctions. I locked down my first business model, which was making income from selling the book and teaching people how to become resellers. That's all I did. Then I branched off to other things. Also, being a person driven by data, I knew that the storage auction thing was going to be very short-lived and it went on longer than I thought it would because it's a lot of hard damn work it's, it's really hard and I know how people are so I positioned myself now I'm still doing it I have the YouTube income I have book sales income I have course sales income and consulting and well two forms of consulting so I still have those same revenue streams but they still come from the same infrastructure I'm not going out and creating a new infrastructure. So if you understand, but back to Steven, you know, well, let's talk about Ray. Ray has a business and Ray is, Ray works his business and he has a part-time job. So Ray is so close to being totally out of the game of regular employment. And you're going to hear about Ray and you're going to hear about Steven. You're going to hear about Ebony. You're going to hear about Risa. And I'm putting this out there because there are many of you who want to call and have one of these long, let's make love conversations when you haven't taken the first step, the second step, the third step, the fourth step. You, you're not getting busy. You know, like I said before, a lot of you are trying to fuck with no pussy and you wonder why you're frustrated. You got to go out there and do the first step and stop being a scared little bitch and stop saying, well, what if it doesn't work out? So fucking what if it doesn't work out? At least you tried and then you have information, feedback, data that can help you create a plan that will work the fuck out. I've never met so many scared fucking bitches in my life who are so butthurt that if they do something wrong, that it's the end of them. So instead of going out and being a hero, just sit around and want and hate and just fucking jack off. I mean, seriously, time is ticking. This time next year is gonna come sooner than you think, and if your life is exactly the same as it is now, next year, it's on you. It's on you. Now, let's get it back to the automatic customer. 
one of the beauties of certain boring businesses, because they're boring, I'm gonna try to make some of them sexy, but they're boring, is they make consistent money. When an investor is looking for a business to buy, they're not looking to buy a business that has to do a lot of one-offs. Let's go back to the storage auction business. One of the biggest struggles I had was each month we had to start all over again. You know, we had systems, we had channels in place. We knew we were gonna make money, but we didn't know how much. Now, when I had my janitorial business, it was brutal, it was a little boring, but I consistently knew how much money I was gonna make. But I didn't do that right back then. I didn't have the mindset I have now. But by creating a business and getting yourself some automatic customers, let's go with uh, the window washer. Because there's another little twist I'm gonna put on this for Steve. You go out, and let's just do the math, and you have 100 customers that pay you $60 a month. That's six grand a month. Is that a thousand customers? Is that sales rank, you know, 34, 86? No, 100 customers, 60 bucks a month. Uh, let's say you have a residential cleaning service. Uh, clean the house, 75 bucks a week. Um, you know, people are paying 150 to 600 dollars a month for cleaning services. You got 100 customers at 150, 10,000 plus per month. You see what I'm saying? So start thinking of that. And the thing is, I'm not saying do not follow your internet dreams. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is have a solid plan where you can put food in your mouth, pay your mortgage, have money left over to save and invest, and build your internet business the correct way. I get a lot of people who wanna talk shit about me, but the thing is, I'm eight years still here. Eight years. I've seen so many people come and go. I, I saw people who were like literally blowing up, whose YouTube channels were better than mine. They had more subscribers. I'm, I'm not only past them, I mean, it's just like the one person, and I, I'll even fa confess, because at one point I was just like, why the fuck are they getting so many views? And you know what? I said, you know what? We're, that's, that's bitch talk. That's just straight bitch talk. I never put it out on YouTube. I never said anything to anybody. I just kept it internal, and I just decided to work harder. Then the other day, I went over and checked out that channel. I've got four times the subscribers, and they were like, at one point, 10,000 subscribers ahead of me. See, that, that's the power of focus. That's the power of focus. Working on what you have, where you are, and just saying, okay, how can I make this better? How can I work harder? How can I achieve my goals? Versus going, oh, they got this going on. I mean, I felt some kind of way about myself. I was like, damn, that was seriously bitch move. But I governed myself accordingly, put myself back in the pocket, and I got myself together. Now, that's the type of stuff that you're gonna have to do. Now, part of what I'm gonna be teaching people is just a few revenue models, because see, this is something else. One of the things that I learned from getting on the phone, talking to a few hundred of y'all, is many people don't have a clue to what they wanna do, and long as it makes money, most of you'll be cool. Uh, this whole thing about passion, and no, 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 no. You are trying to put some money in your pocket, feed your kids, pay some bills. You know, Pat, be the passion be damned. Passion is great when all the other stuff is taken care of, unless you're willing to make that hard choice to follow your passion and suffer financially. And sometimes that is the right choice. Sometimes it's not, it depends on you. But another thing that we're gonna be talking about is how to set this up and getting down to developing the business process. Because let's just go back and let's go with Steven, Window Washing. He's got 50 accounts, right? What we're gonna do is structure and systemize Steven's business. So he's gonna have a template. He's gonna have a response. So he goes out and talks to give you know professional sales training. This is what happens to the average person in a sales situation. They'll go out and talk to someone once. They'll go out and talk to someone once and that person will say no. Now because they lack a professional sales development program, 
they'll just forget about it and go on to the next one. Now, if you were, you know, that, that now I'm not saying Steve does that, but that's how most people do it. Now, this is what will happen after you come into the program. You'll go talk to that customer and they'll say no. And then what you'll do is go into your CRM, your customer relation, relationship management software, put a note that you talked to X and a month later, you're going back. And this is why, and this is a true story. I got thrown out of a building, cold calling. And I, I mean, it was, it was really humiliating. Then I put it in my gold mine, went back, and the guy who threw me out no longer worked at the uh, the business. Because I went in and I said, hey, last, you know, last month I came in here, I was talking to Carl. Carl was saying that you really didn't have a need for the product. And I just wanted to see if things had changed. And the new guy was like, oh, God. Carl was such a fuckwad, exact words. I was like, really? He's like, this place was just in a fucking disarray when I got here. And I sat down and I explained, you know, because at the time I was running great. And I was like, this is what we have. This, he says, we're yes, you know, because I'm tasked to do the move. So I'm sitting here, right? And this guy who replaced Carl, the guy who threw me the fuck out, threw me out. I'm in his office for two hours. I'm calling up people. It's like, well, this guy does IT because he was completely thrown to the wolves and he needed a resource. And because I did not act like a scary little bitch, because I, I mean, seriously, I got, I wasn't the first place that got thrown out of. And I went back, got the deal, brought some other people in, spread a little goodwill. Now, part of the sales process is developing a follow up method a programmed automated follow-up method so when you have the sales program you know well if they say no we're going back and if they say no again then we're gonna wait two months maybe three then we're going back and if they say no again at three four months we're going back because this is what happens people get promoted people get fired companies change their programs and just long as you have this process you can catch so much low hanging fruit it is unreal but you have to be able to deal with rejection and that's what makes this work because you're going to get told no constantly you're going to be told no we don't need this go away don't call me you're going to get that all the time but by developing a sales process each month that you stick with it you're going to notice something you're gonna have that $10,000 month. You're gonna have that $20,000 month. You're gonna have that $40,000 month because you're managing your leads. And that's it, you're managing your leads. So I'm gonna bring that type of training to how to sell big and with Steven, Ray, Ebony, and we're gonna do some other stuff. Now, let's get to the gist of automatic income. First thing that you do is you isolate what is your customer. You're gonna have regular customers you'll have prospects and you'll have targets now what's a target a target is a business that you really want to do business with for some reason run the crate our target was the fortune 2000 because at some point they were always moving an office around which created more income or in some cases reoccurring re revenue that was a target now someone that was a one-off believe it or not we didn't focus that hard on them because, you know, give you an idea of the money that was spent. For us to send a collateral package or, you know, what people now call lumpy mail, we had this little rental crate, right, with the little crate and it had the little wheel dollies. That sucker was 25 bucks just for that. So we would send that plus some literature to all the targets, then follow up with a call. So just to acquire a customer, we're looking at $1,500 to $2,000 to acquire a customer. See, now when I say that, you know, some of you are like, huh? Do you know what your cost of customer acquisition is? In the online world, you'll see this with, you know, you pay so much per lead and they break it down. But when you're doing this kind of selling, uh, you've, you've got people who spend $50,000 to acquire a million dollar customer. 100000 to acquire a million dollar customer. So you're going to get that type of training. Now to get back on point. You got your leads, you got your customers, you got the type of people you want to do business with formatted in your customer relationship management software or protocols. You know who you're going after. 
and for each level of customer you have a response you have a predefined response on how you deal with these people and you have a follow-up response it's like okay this scenario we do x y and z this scenario we do x y and z this scenario we do x y and z and because you have a system you have a format and you have a process you can make it rain i don't care if you're doing hair i don't care if you're doing residential cleaning i don't care if you're doing janitorial cleaning car wash uh handyman services this works for anything it works for anything so what you want to do is you know for those of you who are looking to do what i do this is very important for you to go ahead and get this training because the training will give you the experience and the know-how on how to sell your intellectual property later see that's the problem that many of you are running into that you're trying to be a, a consultant uh, you're trying to create certain passive revenue streams and you don't have a lot of experience doing anything it's not a knock that's not a slam that's just the way it is and the big question is once again would you hire you to do what you're trying to sell and if the, if you pause if you fucking pause then you know your shit's janky but it doesn't have to remain janky you can go ahead and you can create a better situation for yourself by getting out there and making things happen and putting together a proper sales process uh, putting together a sales team because see once you, you begin to systemize this and you learn how it works then you can train your employees to do it and as they used to say back in living color more money more money more money that is one of the best ways for you to develop reoccurring revenue or what you know I like to call the automatic customer you can <clears throat> do so much and make so much money it's sick it is just totally totally sick now part of this is formatting your mind correctly let's go ahead and say you are you're trying to get into this internet business but you you got to make some money uh, there's a lot of people telling you that you know do pay-per-click advertising create this funnel sell some bullshit product I got a question for you what's gonna make you happy and more fulfilled performing a service for someone in your town or city that when you see them they go like Steve man you know that's that guy he does a great job for me or Ebony yeah that's my girl she does a great job for me or Ariza that's my girl she does a great or I sold this bullshit product to someone. See, this has been my problem, and I'm going to break real. I've been working so hard to create products and services for people who don't give a damn. I didn't realize that until later. Because when I take my products and services and put them to someone who gives a damn, it's like boom, 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 and the light comes on and lightning at 3 a.m. So that's why I'm being so harsh with you, and I'm saying this because a lot of you are living in the fucking fantasy world. You think you're going to get rich and make a lot of money without changing who you are. You have to change who you are to get the money that you want. Because you being who you are right now, if that was going to get you the money you wanted, you would get it, right? Since you don't have the money, you got to change who you are. You got to make some concessions. You have to create a better you. This is what you got to do. Now, for those of you who are still here, I've got a few specials. This is how it goes. If you want to be part of the experience, how to sell big is $500. Links below the video. That is the self-paced course. You get sales training. You get marketing training, lead generation development, that type of stuff. All that stuff that you need to learn how to build a proper business. Now, for those of you who want more help, then there's premium seller group which is I'm gonna get on the phone and talk to you and I'm gonna help you with stuff and do case studies and evaluations of your business. That's $500, I'm gonna say that again. $500 a month up to $2,500 a month. If you don't have a business, more than likely it's just not gonna work out for you. 
just to be straight up. But if you have a business, I guarantee if you have a business, and this is why you have a business, if you have a business, I guarantee you, I will make you more money than you spent with me the first month. So you spend 500 bucks, you're gonna make your 500 plus the first month. But if you don't have a business, I can't give you that guarantee because the, the learning curve is like fucking Mount Everett's. But if you have a business, you're already in play, you're already making some money, I can do that. I can make that guarantee. And I don't even have to know you because if you got a business, I can guarantee you this. You don't have a sales process in, in place. You never had professional sales training. Uh, you might have straight up hustle genes. You might be working your ass off, but I can tell you, you can do it better. You can do it cleaner. And once you put a process and people in place, you can have more free time and make more money. Now, that's the deal. That's the deal. All links are below. And I'll see you on the inside.